Oh yeah, baby, what's your gold coin worth? In this video, we're gonna go over some rare gold coins that you might have in your collection. Now, hold on a minute. Did you just say gold coins, old money prices? Yeah, I did. Well, guess what? These Sacagawea dollar coins are actually 77% copper, 12% zinc, 7% manganese, and 4% nickel. Don't get confused by these scammers out there trying to tell you that this is a gold coin or you have a very rare gold coin. Now, don't get me wrong. The coins we go over in this video sold for a lot of money and they're not even gold so you don't need a gold coin for it to be worth a lot of money let's take this first example as a true testament of a coin that can sell for a lot of money so $900 for this coin so this is a coin that came from a millennium set to get this designation a lot of the time you're going to need to submit the full set of coins for NGC or PC just to give it the designation this coin has a tone and hue to it that's going to be a bit different than your typical 2000 D Sacagawea dollar. All you gotta know is that this person was able to submit it and sell it for $900. Now this one's a bit obvious, right? $1,920. If you ever come across something like this, you're not just gonna want to bring it to your first local pawn shop or whatever and have them offer you a couple hundred bucks. I actually recommend highly against any pawn shop for selling anything because they have a lot of broad knowledge, but not as much deep knowledge as what's required for selling your coins like this coin right here. So if you have this coin, keep it safe because this example sold for 1920 bucks. Now here is something you want to be paying close attention to because it really is a small detail that you can look for to see if your coin is worth $7,200 like this example right here. So this is a 2000p $1 Wounded Eagle Sacagawea dollar coin, one of my favorites. I didn't know about this coin forever, but I had found out about it and I want to share it with you guys here today. So as you can tell by the name, this is a Wounded Eagle. So on the back of the coin where the eagle is, you're going to see this stick or a spear spear going right through the stomach area of that bird. That is the area you want to be looking for on your Sacagawea dollar coin to see if you have the Wounded Eagle variety. That in combination with a very high grade of a PCGS Mint State 68 allowed this Sacagawea dollar coin to sell for $7,200. Alright, $11,700. Now I just get very excited going over these coins here. This is a Cheerios dollar coin. So back in the day, Cheerios ran a promotion where you could buy their cereal and get coins inside of them. Don't worry, the coins were covered so the cereal was safe. But however, you're going to want to be looking for the Sacagawea dollar coin and the cent coin and what it comes with. Now the cent coin here doesn't really add as much value as the Sacagawea dollar coin does, but there is a way to tell if you have one of these coins. Now it's going to be really rare to come across one, but it is possible. I don't want to get your hopes up too much, but keep this in mind. It has to come from a 2000p Sacagawea dollar. Now only prices. How do I tell if I have a Sacagawea coin? This is how you can tell. Look at the bird on the back. Once again, that eagle. Look on its tail feathers. Now we're going to show you a diagram of a normal coin that has nothing going on with it versus a Sacagawea Cheerios dollar coin where you can see there's these diagonal lines going through the tail feathers. If you have those diagonal lines, that means you have a Sacagawea Cheerios dollar coin. Now keep this in mind as well. If the condition is not good, if it's really circulated, if it's worn down and you can't can't really see the lines there, grading companies like PCGS and NGC will simply not designate the coin. You need the designation from NGC or PCGS in order to get the real value of a Cheerios dollar like this. Once again, these two coins, they sold for 11700 bucks. So when you're looking at the back of the Sacagawea dollar coin, you may be thinking to yourself, oh wow, this coin actually looks pretty gold. It's, it's a deeper, darker color, but I'm telling you right now, it sold for $144,000. Now you may be asking, yourself, what in the world? How could a coin sell for that much money? Well, this is exactly how. So when you flip it over to the front, you can see this coin was actually muled with a statehood quarter. This coin got graded by PCGS at a mint state 65 plus. So the front and the back of this coin should have never went together. This is more than likely a mint mistake that was done on purpose by a mint employee to see what it would look like and doing it just for fun. This is something that is so unique and abnormal. And if you you actually come across something like this, you must, must, must find someone that you trust because you do not want to miss out on $144,000 just like this coin sold for in Heritage Auctions. Now we have a completely free ebook down below that goes over coin handling, grading, and value. So you're going to want to check that out. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.